Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? <laughs> it's Wednesday night. Hopefully you're doing well this weekend. And I got a feeling that this is going to be another Streets of Rage thing. Streets of Rage 3 specifically. Because this game is very difficult. Because we're back playing more Dynamite Heady tonight. It's a game I've learned that while it has good, some really good parts about it, a lot of the design decisions I despise with the, with the Fury of a Thousand Suns. I would call into my local radio station just to complain, apparently. Sorry, I was thinking, looking at the radio there. Around me, if ever everything of the 90s for better and for worse. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, that should work. Alright, let's go with the yes, yes, and yes. Let's try to beat it this time. Eight directional shooters are a weakness, and I didn't even notice apparently that Gibo was a superhero. It's a little weird. I don't know about that. I don't remember seeing Gibo as a superhero. But either way, last stream though, we did get to stage 7. That was a huge progress. We only improved by one stage out of 9. So I'm kind of expecting this to be a uh, very difficult. Very difficult stream. A very difficult game. A lot of design decisions I am just not a fan of. Like, it is one of the games, like, it does get easier as you, you know, the more you play. And I think a lot of my experiences with these games are becoming jaded. Just because I'm trying to beat them in a very short period of time. You know, what someone would take a week trying to beat, I'm just trying to do in two hours. Trouble brewing, nobody wants you around. There. I think you only can hit him once. Although I do realize, though, for the final, for the seventh stage against that boss, I'm actually curious about something that we are going to test. <clears throat> I have a very good feeling. That when I was having trouble dodging the claw, that was something I probably could have done, and we're going to test it out. Because I think it was targeting Dynamite Heady's head, and not his body. Because if it was targeting the head, that might change everything. So instead of having, because your head's not the hitbox, it's your body that's the hitbox. Yes. And if that is true. Well, that fight actually just became a whole lot easier. It'll still be difficult. Very difficult, but still. It'll be very annoying if you didn't think about that. The core mechan one of the core mechanics of this game. I'm not used to just having my head detached. I'm also hoping I can actually get those uh, continues. Whoopsie. That won't matter. And up we go. Ah, darn it. Switch to the bonus game at the last second. Oh well. Let, let's, let's be bad at basketball. Oh, he throws a bomb instantly. Oh, 
I like how it just keeps going until you actually blow up your baskets or... Oh, there we go. Finally blew one up. Oh, we only have one more left. I find it funny you can actually just blow it up. Come on, just get in the hoop. Uh, nope, never mind. There we go. I need to play this intermission. Am I going for 100%? I wonder if 100% actually counts even getting all the secret points. That'd be kind of weird. And let's get back to the game. Far enough. Not Magnet Man. You still are the doll from Illusion of Gaia. Take out those dolls. Hopefully I can get through this pretty quickly. Uh-oh. Let's, let's not have glitches, please. That'd be very annoying. I don't want to have a glitch that, that has me restart already. The only way I can see a lot of people liking these games is just they have spent a lot of time playing uh, these games. Like, their childhood games. Because there was more I actually learned about the international version about this game. I got an extra continue though. I want to try and actually get as many as possible. Because you don't start with any continues in this damn game. Also, speaking of Western differences between the Japanese version, they've made this harder. Enemies have a lot more health in the Western version compared to the Japanese version. So, every single boss I've been fighting actually has less health in the Japanese version. So they pretty much just made this game harder on all fronts. Which is very annoying. Yep, yeah, that's World 2 done. Stage light. Ah. Let's get the banana, we don't need it. Need it soon. Like there. Let's do this three times. Oh, this is so difficult. There we go. One more. If I could actually hit things with this head. 
Oh wait, directional shooters, why am I terrible with you? Let's go. And nope, we're not done. There we go. One up. And let's get grabbed by trouble for it. Actually, somewhat works if I could actually hit Trouble Bruin. So, if you can get the wing head, that's actually the best out of the group. Because it's not so much for increased damage or anything. You just get, uh, the extended range. And let's grab the sleep power up. Let's heal up. Thankfully, the game heals you up really quickly. Enter the Gust Puppet! Get away with that. That's unfortunate. Probably need to stop hitting him and start hitting the puppeteer. Did I just learn how to cancel shots? There we go. Got him. That actually took a lot more hits than I would hope. There you go. Heal it up. Got that giant H back on the spotlight. And let's move on. To the dance show. This is the this is World 3 boss. Ah. ah, darn it. Looks like I'm gonna have to do three phases. Because I got the triple. Shot. This one's gonna be the difficult one. No. Oh, this is bad. Oh, actually, that. Oh my god, I actually did it. I actually did it without the power ups. It's amazing. So, the one thing that really sucks is <clears throat> to actually get the continues. is that you have to kill him when he's off-center. Or in the center of the screen. Like, any of the bosses you have to kill in the center of the screen. Because when the power-ups start flying... You've got another try. Thank you! You get another continue. Or it, it optimizes your chance for another continue, I should say. Because you need those continues in this game. Like... 
This is very much you either know how to do everything and it'll be fine, or you don't. And you will suffer. Yes. And the more, like, the later on it gets, the more brutal it becomes. Taking those keys. Terminate her too. Come on! Betty, stop. Please, buddy. Nope. I don't know what to do for that. I really don't. I think I think I probably have to actually duck. see here. Come on, where's the power-up? There's the power-up. Oh, you got the hammer and the bomb. Well, let's go with the hammer. What? That's switching a lot faster than it should have. Kinda of reckless, but we'll get a banana soon. So uh, we'll find. Ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping to grab the whistle. There we go. That. Now I should probably grab the. Grab the whistle of the lips. Go. Get rid of that. Grab the hammer. We're back to full health. There we go. Oh, hello. Come on. Get that one up. Health and just to check. Oh, okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Can I do this? No, I cannot. I don't know why that gives me a bonus point. I can't believe like that you actually have to land it on its head. Yeah. Don't say I should feel bad. For all these puppets. They're just doing their job. this anymore. Banana! Hit you. I am hitting you. Go. Bonus game. Hammer. Thankfully the hammer is a lot of oomph. Uh-oh. Uh, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Oh, no. Oh, that actually hurts. I have no idea what to do. This is actually weird. I'm just gonna walk through it all, because I have not really a choice on that one. And I'm... Oh, I'm dumb. 
I need the I need the hammer. And the hammer. No. Oh. Now I'll get the one. One up. Oh. Sleep. Okay, that actually works. Wow, the sage actually is really generous to you. Wow. In healing. Alright, let's put it the head. And let's grab the... Uh... This way? Yes, it is. Moving on. I'm not even gonna bother with Gibo. Look, Teddy no Keymaster at the beach to it, but she's gone now. I'm actually surprised they didn't tie continues to score or something, because then they would actually make the points worth something. Especially the secret points. Yes. All right, let's go to the staircase. Yes. I'm not even gonna use this because you'll probably lose your he uh, the head power up in the next screen. In Star Wars! Yep, you lose it. So, here comes the first part of uh, Big RNG. It's gotta keep on going. No! I hate that when he just, like, drags it out. Like, if he closes his, uh, the bear, Trouble Brewer, and closes his eyes, that's when you know he's going to attack. Probably attack here. Nope, just another claw. Claw. Another claw. In the Japanese version, he'll do three claws, then he'll charge. In this one, complete randomness. Oh, here we go. We finally made it. There we go. That's two hits out of, like, eight. It's a shame I can't hit him twice. Thing go a whole lot faster. Yeah. Try it again. You do good. Keep doing that. I'll let you know if I'm okay with it. Or you can just keep tearing down the tower. One of the two. I mean, it's weird, Mega G Wolf loves this game, and I can see why. It has a great theme, it's very entertaining. Man, oh man. I don't know why me and 8-directional shooters have such a... such an issue. 
just never, like, there's a lot of little things. And it's those little things that drive me nuts. Ah, oh, come on, that was hardly a second. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. Ah. And go. Now dodge the torpedoes. Darn it. I was hoping I could dodge him. Oh no. Yep, had a feeling it was gonna drop one of those balls. I don't know what. Ah, darn it. Ah, darn it. Gotta make sure. To my knowledge, this is the fastest way you can do this. Wish this gave a banana. But we're still not done climbing yet. Oh no, that does give a banana. What am I saying? Yum, yum. Register. Go! That takes about 30 minutes to get here. Oh, that sucks. The claws right there. No, Kibo, don't you even try it, buddy. I hate you. I don't like you. Get out of here. All right, fine. You leave. You got lucky, Gibo. Spinderella saved you. Let's actually try and get right there. Nope. Very difficult to actually hit Spinderella. Turn me on the other side of the screen, please. I don't want to try and grab those power-ups on the back side. Looks like we got two continues, not three. That's a shame. That's a shame. Really hopeful. I was hoping for three. Because I can see myself losing continue in the next stage. Yes. 
Keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh darn it! I did it again. Well, this isn't gonna be good. Let's go to the moon. Let's actually grab that spaceship. That one should be useful for this boss. Yeah, I think it's right around. Good, I broke the little spawning enemy. Already. Oh, I can do that to myself. Good. That was only ships. Not a fan that they shoot their bombs this or uh, that quickly. Go. I want the bird. Ah. I feel like this stage they actually give you more health for some reason. There we go, finally. Goodbye. Give me that biplane. Thank you! Useful for the next section. Wish they gave me a banana, but I'll have to wait. If I take one hit, I'll have to grab the banana. Apparently, you do go in a circle, which is really weird. Ah. Ah, uh, well, there you go. I need the banana. Now. Move so fast. Screwing that up. And this is why the spread gun is the best for this section. Ah, Done? I think we might be done. He's throwing a lot of mines at me. I think we're done. Nope, we're not done. Shoot. Hopeful. Darn it, stupid explosion. There we go, I think this is it. That's a lot faster than before. Uh. 
It's weird, it feels like they actually do give you more health in the latter half of the game. I throw another set of mines at me or not? Nope, we're stopping. And now for pain. Not grab that. We need to keep the triplane. So, from what I understand, up, up creates more obstacles, but down creates more enemies. And between the two, I think I'd rather have to deal with obstacles than enemies. But then again, this is really difficult. Because it goes a lot faster. Or you don't really control well in this, I should say. Like, it's very difficult to, like, get yourself in the position you want to be. It's, like, it's kind of like that issue I had in Mario Golf putting. It's like you press down just a little bit and it corrodes you. You really have to know what you're doing. Grab another banana, thank goodness, I forgot about the banana. Now we're fighting babies. I don't want to fight a baby, but we are fighting a baby. Just get another biplane. Bottom! Oh, it does actually show the boss's health for this, okay. That's one section down. I swear, this guy like reminds me of like a blonde Dan Quayle. Ah, darn it. Oh, that was my fault. Uh. <sighs> that hit me. Whatever. Stupid electricity. Got it. Yeah, I think we got it. Yep. Oh, he even regained some of his health back. That sucks. Okay. Now for the lasers. Ah, oh, I see the lasers all the time. Really difficult. Please be done. Oh, it's actually really difficult to hit him. Oh, at least all he does is grab you. That's actually kind of infuriating. Just give me a like give the person a little bit of a reprieve when playing this game. Hate that. I always hate. I never liked uh, like oh post death stuff. Right, let me actually switch over. Oh, that's a shame. Now we get to do this fight over again. I think that was actually our first death, too. So, hey. There's the clouds. The warning. Come 
long as you stay up in the corner, you can hit him safely. That's a lot. Oh, okay. It's already done. Alright. Hey, thank you very much for the host, Big Bad Wolf. For your monster hunting. First off, congratulations again, Game Affiliate. I hope you've been enjoying your monster hunting. I, however, am torturing myself with this game. This is another Streets. This is my Streets. A new, my next Streets of Rage 3 game. A game where I consistently fail to beat. Ah, I keep screwing that up. I guess this. I guess the feet count. If you don't know what this game is, this is Dynamite Heady. Uh, nope! Oh, well, screwed that up. It's fine. Stage is over anyway. And the old man died. So, this is a game actually developed by Treasure. If you don't know Treasure, they're the ones who developed uh, really difficult games like Alien Soldier, Gunstar Heroes, um... I believe they're also involved in Sin and Punishment? But back in the days of the Genesis, Gunstar Heroes was their most well-known game. This is actually another one. It is still actually an eight-directional shooter. A little bit more focus on... with platforming. And, like with any other treasure game, just really difficult boss fights. So, not much has changed with that. You know, the only difference is, you know, instead of staying with one type of power-up or selecting four type of power-ups, you're consistently switching your power-ups, because uh, Dynamite Heady here does not keep his power-ups for very long. And this is actually as far as we got during our last stream. Because this, this boss here was incredibly difficult. So this is the key master. And Heather up there, she's actually throwing the keys there. So far, nice and simple. Nice and easy. Heather is controlled by the AI, so she'll just have to do her own thing. And she could end up, you know, mixing up or messing up. I think I have to put five keys in. No, six. Well. If you're ever a huge fan of, like, um... Like, I can't believe I'm saying this, Dark Souls games, you might actually like this. The only difference is this is... An eight-directional shooter game. This is actually something I am terrible at. But this is as far as I got. As with this, that was a little too easy for World 7, so... There's the final boss's domain. And this is a two-face fight. Let's see... Yep. Yep, just what I thought. Okay, so there is actually a way to dodge that. You don't need to actually... You don't actually... So what makes this fight hard is it's really difficult... To... The hard part about this is basically you don't get any timing. So timing is really difficult here. And also the claw extends forever.
And if I hit Heather, I lose a piece of health. Like I said, it's really, like, the hard part about this is just, it doesn't give you any timing. Like, the tell is stup is ridiculous. Nope! Ah, darn it, I screwed that up. I think it went trolls you. Give me another hit. You are. So, in the upper right hand corner is actually where the health is. And why this is so difficult is the international version release of this game gives you, gives, basically gives him, like, a lot of health. So the upper right corner is his health, and it's really annoying. And there's no way to restore to actually check your health out. And this is where we stonewalled last time. So, ideally, if the fight actually works the way it's supposed to, what you can do... You've got a secret bonus point. If it works, then he'll actually grab the power-up that you can actually use, but... As you can see, he didn't. So... or it didn't. Unfortunately, that hammer's not used for anything. They basically just give you a useless power-up. Wow, this game's RNG is actually being generous now. But you have to do like 20 hits on this boss, which is ridiculous. So you're supposed to actually make it... Get its, uh, get the power-up so you can actually, you know... Get something with it. But... So you can actually speed up the fight, because there are power-ups that help you, you know, do damage more, or at the very least dodge the attacks. Problem is, though, it's RNG, it's tied to RNG. Kinda sucks. So, it's really difficult to actually have the fight work for you. To actually make the fight as easy as possible. Get out of here, I don't need you. And it's ridiculous because it's really difficult to actually get the tell for that. Can't believe it took me that long to figure it out. You gonna grab something? Oh, you grab Gibo, you jerk. Oh my Gibo. Uh, that's not good. Grab something for me, would you? Thank you! Okay, that actually works. That actually makes me, uh, invulnerable to his attacks. What I could try and do, assuming I can actually get it. Very difficult to actually do this. Ah, darn it. There. So that bomb there is actually speeds up the fight. I think actually I just sent him off screen. I did, damn it.
but that actually gave me a huge lead in damage. I think I finally got the timing right. Okay, we've actually got a hit off of that. Oh, you can actually hit him like that. Okay. Ah. Ah, darn it. Got him! No! Ah, no, he's in you. Darn it. That was helpful. Like I said, you don't want to kill them when they're at the edge, unfortunately. I'd rather just get progression. So I have two continues. Two continues, and we're moving on finally to World 8. I'm surprised speedrunners. Actually, no, I'm not surprised speedrunners can beat this in 45 minutes because they're playing the Japanese version. And now we're off. The Dark Castle. And Troll Baroon's still following us. Troublesome, troublesome bear. The Rocketeer! Okay, that's new. Uh, what? Okay! I don't... I don't know what to do on that. That's... this is weird. Okay. I guess if you're small enough, you can dodge it all. I'm fine with this. DD Castle. Just needs one more D. Uh, I made it. I made it. My goodness. Like you only had time to kill one person. Oh, that's just rude. Oh, that's the only gift. Spike ball, that's even ruder. Illegal weapon three. Welcome to the missile base. Enjoy your stay. Let's try the spike ball. Uh, what? Uh, oh, three missiles and you're done. Okay, that actually kind of sucks. Um, what? What? I don't know what to do here. Oh, this is... Oh, I hate stages like this. Like, here, figure out what to do. Nope, you still get hit. Okay. What do you do? Okay, you just need to attack them. I hate stages like this. They basically need to grab that, then switch on over to the... Freaking... Switch on over to the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what? No, no, no. Not dealing with you. And I see a banana, and I want the banana. Can I hit you? Oh! What? What? Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, this is... Oh, I hate stages like this. Great. This is this is where the fun begins, apparently. <sighs> I 
That's... Oh, that's... Setting. How do you even get up there? Not giving me anything. No, I hate games like this. This is the bull crap. Oh, basically, we kill you. I guess you're a plat. Guess you're a platform. You are a platform. All for a freaking thing that doesn't even work the way it's supposed to. No! No! How? How do you get past that? This is this is. I don't understand how people can, like, just say, like, oh, you know, maybe you have fun playing the game, because you love the theme and such, but man... Like, Instant Squish sucks. I don't even know why, like, how I'm screwing that up. makes sense. Alright, so what do I do here? Okay, so it was allowing, so I could actually get up there, it was just a pixel error. Great. That's just lovely. Alright, what's next? Okay. Oh, this is actually asleep. I'm fine with that. What? Okay. I'm fine with this. It allowed me to actually restore health. get hit. You can always grab the sleep power up again. Uh, that's, what's, that's the good thing. There we go. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm actually just taking a lot more health than I would want. That takes a lot of health, apparently. Oh, you take a lot more damage when you're asleep. A little one really hurts you. I oh, just didn't have to do the entire thing. Okay. Didn't even want to attack me. That's fine. That's a good thing. I don't understand why that's not working. Like, the way it's supposed to. Alright, so we 
you have to hit like that. Okay. Try this again. What really sucks, we only have one more continue. Alright. Wow, I really hurt myself, actually. Whoops, that's not the one. Like, there's no health bar on this guy. That's one of the big issues right now. Oh. oh, your head hurts a lot. No, oh. oh, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Get some health. Nope. This is a pain in the butt for our boss fight. This is really annoying because he has no health bar. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Or what I'm doing right, for that matter. That's very upsetting. That's the problem with a lot of this game. Just no... I don't understand why I'm taking damage from that, though. That. You. Like the sun enemy, I don't understand what to do. Do I have to keep hitting them with the four? I might have to. Whoopsie. Ah, that heart hurts like a butt, like a pain. Oh, come on, you two for one. I almost got lucky there. I don't know what that heart does, and that's the thing that drives me nuts. I'm already dead. Why does this game have such a ridiculous level of... don't have a health bar. Uh. Oh, please don't no more damage. No more damage. You're dead, you're dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Be dead. I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. Don't know what to do. What do I do? Okay, you just blow up randomly. Alright. Best game. Is it is it really the best game, Hetty? Oh no, that wasn't even needed. That was optional. You did it because you needed the spike head. Did he just take my head? Uh, 
Alright, I have no idea what to do against that enemy, because you're, you're introducing it once. I just destroy that. Alright. Oh, what the hell is this? Really, game? How do you actually expect people to get good at this? That's annoying. That is so bad. This is a terrible game. That once, it's good. <gasps> no. Don't squish me. So the sun is basically just to get the spike ball. Okay. Not a fan of that, but <sighs> no. Urgh. That. Maybe it, oh, you know what we mean? I bet that actually is probably like two points of damage. Like four, two, that sort of Yep, it's that. So four points of damage, two points of damage. That's ooh, that's really mean. No! Good game. Like the only reason. having trouble just keeping... Yep. This, this sucks. This is why I hate this game. Oh. Uh. Uh. I don't know why I did that. That was really dumb. Alright. Well, we can just get that. Oh, this is such a pain in the butt, this fight. I hate this. Like, people give crap about Dark Souls, but this is worse. Oh, you know what I grabbed? I grabbed the spike head again. I need to sleep. damage. No! Ugh, I hate that stupid power up there, or grapple there. It's really not needed. Nope. This is such a dumb... Fun forgiven. Fun is... There's no fun here. There's no fun here. At all. When pain and misery.
think a lot. Of, I think a lot of people hold a lot of games in nostalgia. I mean, for like me, you know, I like Secret of Mana. But man, Secret of Mana has not aged well, and I'm actually interested in the reboot if they're actually going to improve things with it because it need a, it needed a lot of improvements from the past. A lot of good hits. A lot of good hits, actually. Ah. Uh. No! Uh, lose so much health from this. Hits. At least the freaking thing only goes on one side. I'm missing in here or something, because... Also, love the fact that Riggs actually master a skill we only get a couple of seconds with. I also love how there's one-ups there, like, for some hidden reason. Seriously, like, give me the one up. And also, apparently, I can't actually. Let's get those. Let's go heal. Saying don't shoot. Oh, we're gonna be waiting here for a while. Can't even actually move on a platform. I wonder. I'm curious now. Ow! Oh, I guess. Wow, really? That's. How do you even get this stuff? I'm gonna shoot it. Why would you... He has all these extra lives and I don't know how to access them. Oh, wait, I think I know how now. Oh, that's... That's true, I need those one-ups, though. Oh, I'm not gonna enjoy this. Nope! Give one ups over here. Ew, oh, thank goodness. Give one ups in the other direction. Or a banana. Pick either. Banana, thank goodness. That's good. Now, for the part that the game did not even practice you with. know how to platform with this power-up. Because if you don't, well, you are screwed, my friend. I also love how these are out of sync. And you have to be very precise. You're off by a pixel. You can 
not get it. The, the one thing that really sucks about this is you can't just hang... Well, actually, no, you can hang on to it. Never mind, what am I doing? You can hang on to it, the problem is the body does it. Oh, I guess, never mind, there's a limit. Oh, the straws don't actually work. Oh, that sucks. This game, I freaking hate this game. This is not prepare. This game does not prepare you at all for this section. Oh, you can. Ugh, you can black farm off them, of course. Okay. All right. Fine. Assuming that actually will work. And those are actually on cue. No! Oh, that sucks. Can I... Okay, you can do that. Alright, fine. That's good. Nope. We're dead. We're dead. Well, at least if we can do it, we can be in an infinite loop of lives, but... Problem... Now becomes. Can I beat this? With two lives and no continues. So we've used up our continues. the four do more. Nope. Kind of wish your head would just go across the entire room. Triple shot. I said I want the triple shot. Thank you. Like the, if the game wanted you to actually learn how to do the platforming, it would give it to you. It would teach you and actually make it a lot more fair, but it doesn't. Now, let's actually try and find where these power-ups are, how I can actually get these power-ups. Because that one... Because there are multiple one-ups that aren't available, apparently. Oh boy. How you get those one ups? What you would think, hey, let's give the person a reprieve here, but you don't. Bothersome. Alright. Uh, 
Ah, uh, ah, darn it. At least he had one one up. I can't believe he only gave you one. Uh, something tells me I'm probably gonna screw this up, so. I will try. <sighs> yep, good thing I didn't grab the banana. Did it take four pieces uh like so much more damage. Yeah, that wasn't even a full heal, you take an absurd amount of damage from the spikes. For no reason. Oh. And the freaking timing is off on these things. game so much. Alright, let's try this. Like, is it the further away or something? Is that it? No, it isn't. I don't understand this game's mechanics because it doesn't teach you how to actually play the game. Like, here's a grappling section in a game that never taught you how to grapple. I have it. Why would- why does this section exist? It shouldn't exist because there's no point in the game that teaches you how to actually grapple from point to point. It's arbitrary difficulty. Like, the only people I can see that actually can say that, like, I'm gonna have a good time playing this game are the people who know what to do or speedrunners. Like, they, they've known what to do. They play it, they have a very fond memories as a child. Ah, uh, damn it. I hate this already. No. Screw it up. Everything screwed up. Everything screwed up. Screw this game. I hate it so much. It's such a dumb game. Stay away from me. One hit left. I need to get that power up. This is bad. RNG! I'm, getting, I'm dead. Nope. Game over. Complete game over. Nope, we still have one more try. I'm actually surprised. I don't know where this third continue came from, but I'll take it. This is not fun. This is really dumb. Like, if the game actually taught you how to play the game by how to grapple, then okay, it would be fine, but it doesn't. And because of that, it's not a good game. Like, if you don't teach core principles of your game or build situations that actually give the player confidence to breeze through sections, that, that's why. That's actually why I hate a lot of the trigger games. I know they do like here one one time gimmick. This is one time gimmick. We're gonna have you do it, and then we're never gonna visit it again. Repetition is how most people learn. No. Oh whatever. Actually, I got the sleep. That was actually really good. Got a little lucky there. I also hate the power-up system in this game, because the power-ups... ...don't. The power-ups get in your way. When you're fighting, most of the time. Considering the spike ball actually doesn't do increased damage. Well... Oh, that sucks. Nope, that's the wrong power up. Spike ball. Here. Oh, 
one up. And let's try this again. Oh my god, it actually made it. Why would they do this to you? I'm gonna wait for this to wear off. The iron head. Alright, finally made it through. Vice versa. Uh what? Oh. Okay, bullets don't go through. I'm not liking this. There is actually a chance you could screw up this whole thing. I think it is. Yeah, there is. Uh huh. Ow. How do? Wait, what I think I know. Aw, oh, darn it, I screwed that up. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna regret this. Uh, that works. Oh, it does. Oh, no, it works. Okay. That's not the power we want. We want this power. Wow. Let's go with invincibility. And another mini boss, of course. Of course. Oh no. Oh no. I I don't know what to do. Oh, I have to get him to... Okay. Alright. That is kind of wonky, but alright. I am not a fan of this, but okay. Uh... Ah... doing this right, but I hope I am. I am. Uh, oh, it destroys the power-ups. That sucks. Actually, what was it? Oh, I can't kill the other one. That's a shame. Alright, let's go. 
Twin Freaks. Uh, you're a monkey. What? Oh no. Moving stage. Oh, that is... Evo, you have got to be kidding me. This is a pain in the butt. I can't even hit him until... unless he's in his green. Screwed up. This is an evil fight. This is a really mean fight. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. And I can't even actually do it until. Wow, this is. Ugh. This is memory. This is memorization. And you can't even hit past the Lati thing. You're dead! You are dead! Why? Oh my god, I hate this game so much. Why would you make a route that would lead you to your demise? That is really dumb. And a really bad game design. And I really wish. No! Ugh, I got stunned. I got stunned. Because I got hit. Because I got hit by the freaking little guy. this as quickly as possible. Sucks. That sucks. Right, so, yeah, he's immune. In that. Oh, nope! Nope, got squished. Screw this game. I hate it so much. It's such a bad game. Get out of here. Bye bye! This is such a stupid game. It is so dumb. It's such stupid difficulty curves. And it never trains you for the next fight, and it because it doesn't give you any continues, and there's more there's increased RNG, and the enemies have more health, it makes this tech game extremely terrible. The only people I can see having fun with this are the people who are actually smart enough to play the Japanese version, which I don't have. This is needless difficulty. And I can't e I, I can't do a second attempt either, because I'll run over time. It's uh, it's such a pain. It's like every time you learn how to do one thing, then the next obstacle comes up and it's say, like, you know what, this is like here's some more bullcrap for you. This game is just annoying and full of bad game design. Like, that's why I'm annoyed by it. I wish this game was actually a lot easier. I really do wish this game was a lot easier, but it isn't. It's painfully hard. Each time you play for the wrong reason, and that fight is even worse because you can end up flipping the stage the wrong direction and killing yourself. And you don't have a chance to actually even respond. This is this is my new Streets of Rage. This is the new Streets of Rage 3 here. I thought Streets of Rage was a pain in the butt. This is just as bad. 
because they made the inter they made the international version. It's incredibly difficult for no good reason. And the worst part is because of the way the game's designed, you only really get one attempt a night. Like, I can't do... I can't get up to where I was in that time. Well, that's gonna be it for me tonight. No other way. I can't do another run. Or an attempt. But... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, I don't care what a lot of other people say. This is a terrible game. And... It's just stupidly difficult for all the wrong reasons. Oh, it's not well like that 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 boss fight needed really good level design. It does not have good level design at all. The moment I I figured out I can crush myself. Not even like and not like at the beginning just crushing yourself at the point of the power up where the path splits in two. That's the point where it's like, that should have been forgiveness, but it wasn't, and there was no way out. There was no way to flip the pa uh, flip the stage. But, that's gonna be it for me tonight, though. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out some other streams, there's Josh Jepsen. I don't know what he's playing. He's actually has unidentified, and Perch and John is going on with Castlevania. I don't know if he's updated the game, but until then, though, thank you very much for watching. Until then, take care.